Radio Shouty. What went through your mind when you looked up and you was doing it, though, man? Because, see, the visualization of it back then, you got your mind on the prize, your eye on the prize, but then you look up a few years later, you in the midst of it. It was, it was strange, but we were ready. Yeah. You know what I mean? We were ready, man. We, when we shot that, that player's ball video, man, we all was just so excited and so just like, yo, man, we're ready for the world to see this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, I, and I remember we got there, Reek and Three got in an argument that day about what he going to wear. Oof. You know what I mean? And I remember when Reek was like, uh-uh, you going to put on their braids. They going to know we from Atlanta. And that shit stuck. Talk to me you know about I mean? rapping the A Town too, Gip, because I mean, folks don't even do it like they used to do it. Back in the day, you knew what was going on. In we that. infiltrated now. Talk to me. We infiltrated. You know what I mean? We are depend on all these out of towners coming here and stand beside us, act like they know us and know our music. Man, them man, folks don't know us, man. We we infiltrated now. So now these kids can't say, man. Fuck that, we standing with this one, half they crew from somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like, we infiltrated. And that's why the music, that's why I'm saying, that's why everything to me is just on a uh, on a theatrical scale. Because it's almost like, okay, let's keep these niggas dumb down here. This the hot shit, dumb shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? This the hot shit. Look at what they signing, bro. Yeah. Everything is, is man, society throwaway. Not to us, yeah. but look what they putting their money into now, my nigga. Like, everything that's got them damn near criminal at sight. Nothing that's, that's, that's soft, nothing that's, I mean, like we said, it's only one Cole. It's only one Kendrick. It's like, why is that? Why is that? As many great artists I know out here, like as many dope artists that's out here in Atlanta that got a whole other story to tell why they can't get on you know why because it's easier to fuck with them because fucking with them all oh, they want the money yeah oh, they want that's all they talk about anyway staying true to y'all truth and y'all core values and just having morals with the message that y'all was putting out how tough was that for y'all coming out the gate with that actually saying it something. wasn't even tough it was what we had to do it wasn't even tough it was what we, what we had to do you know what i mean like, like, uh, how you come from the city that represented so much black change? Like, dude, like, Maynard Jackson. Like, I went to school with his son, Buzzy. Like, I, you know what I mean? I, I knew these people. Like, to grow up and be in the same neighborhood as, 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 as Andrew Young. Like, everybody knew Bo. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we knew. So, it's like going through these people. How, man, we used to cut stool. Cut school and be over these four houses. Yeah. Lil John, Lil John, you, his mom and dad is a doctor and a lawyer. He was the real Huxtable, Lil John. <laughs> He's the real Huxtable, for real, in real life. Yeah. So when we used to cut school, we'd be over Lil John house. He'd be over that DJ and shit. We'd be all out in the front yard cutting school <laughs> like a mug. You know what I mean? <laughs> Doug, and, Doug and May. So yeah. for Lil John to be where he is now, I'm like, shit, that nigga was doing that shit in high school, huh? You know what I mean? So it's no surprise where he at. From JD, like J, JD, one of the first people we took our tapes to trying to get on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Divine. No, I didn't tell you about that Divine, man. That boy was a superstar from where we come from, Red Oak on the east, uh, east Point. Like, he was the first one around here hanging with Bobby Brown coming through the hood with the photo drop top beans, man. Like, mm. wow. Like, you know what I mean? People got to get Bobby Brown the one really. Bobby and Whitney and L.A. Reed and Pell was what turned this town out. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Them four there. Bobby L.A., Pebbles, Whitney. Like, like they turned this town up. See that. You know what I mean? People don't give them the credit, but Bobby was the first one around here got them showing, it what, showing you what it looked like on that other level. <laughs> you tell me, man, I just crashed the Rolls Royce and left that motherfucker like, damn, that nigga sold 15 million records. He could do that. You know what I mean? You got to remember that year, him and Hammer were the only two records that sold them numbers. Hammer can't touch this. Bobby, my prerogative. 
And them two albums sold 15 million records that year. Radio Shouting.